how to solve a nice quintic equation as a rule of thumb let's factor the left side of the equation so x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 here we play a trick plus x cubed so into minus x cubed then plus 1 equals 0 now take the common factor for the first returns so we get x cubed times x squared plus x plus 1. And for the last two terms, so x cubed minus 1. I write minus 1 cubed equals 0. So x cubed times x squared plus x plus 1. We use difference of cubes formula. So we get x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. Now we take the common factor out. So x squared plus x plus 1 times x cubed minus x plus 1 equals 0. So we have two options. 1 x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. Or x cubed minus x plus 1 equals 0. The first equation doesn't have real solution because the discriminant delta equals 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 equals negative 3 less than 0. So no real solution. Right. For the second cubic equation, we use the well-known Cardano's formula. It looks like this one. So given t to the power of 3 plus pt plus q equals 0 and 4 times p to the power of 3 plus 27q squared greater than 0, then the real solution would be t equals the sum of 2 cubic root, right? So let's use this formula to solve the second equation. We know p equals negative 1, q equals 1, right? So x equals cubic root of negative q over 2, so be 1 over 2, plus a square root. q squared over 4, so be 1 square over 4, plus pq over 27. We know p to the power of 3 equals negative 1, so be minus 1 over 27, plus the second cubic root, so negative q over 2, negative 1 over 2. Now minus the same square root from the first one. So get square root of 1 over 4 minus 1 over 27. That is the exact solution to the given equation. It is approximate value would be negative 1.3. Two, four, seven. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.